Man, let's talk about Microsoft List. Everybody is like, wow, Teams is amazing, and it's coming with Microsoft List, or, or even they call it Microsoft Teams List. So let's see what it is. If I go to our Teams, I just click on my full list of, uh, uh, of Teams, really. So I'm going to go into my dev, and here I want to add a new app and this new app is going to be called a oops, a list let's put this guy here so here we can see that we have list if we can't find it just type list you can see that SharePoint is also suggesting that well we could use that but that's a different one because they are saying you could use pages with list but not to be confused right let's click on save and for the one who are used to it, it's kind of confusing because well, if you were used to list in SharePoint, you're like, well, that's, that's a list in Teams, but there's nothing. Because you need to then click again. You, if you just leave it as it is, go back to post and then to my list, my list is still not there. I didn't enter the name of the list, what I want to see in this list, etc. So I need to do existing one or a blank one or a, a new list not just blank because I can import it from Excel I can select one of these templates which is pretty cool I really like it so for instance here I'm going to select my event itinerary it's not mine it's the one created by Microsoft and um, you can see a preview here just have a look nothing is active right it's just to play with and uh, if you want to check the other one, just click on Travel Request. Okay, so it looks like a title, a reason for travel. That's really nice. So let's go to Event Itinerary and use this template. So it's going to create my list with all these columns. Of course, a lot of you are saying, well, what is a list really? So here, let's put Event or Journey. journey to Miami because I'm going to plan a journey to my uh, conference participant for instance. So it's creating the list. So now we can see the list with obviously no data but it's uh, it's got all the columns and then you have to go on the right hand side you have to scroll right to see the rest and all we need to do is to add a new item. So let's make this actually a bit Wider. Remember that we are inside this uh, Teams, so we can just expand it. Expand the tab, click in here. Some previous version, well, basically if you are not on the, on the latest release of uh, Office, you will see that you have to expand from the menu. But otherwise you have to expand here. You can even have it as a pop-up nowadays. Pretty cool. And then the refresh, we don't really use that because it's quite refreshed automatically. But Let's do a new item. So what's the uh, what's the advantage of a list? Is that it's now having forms, but it really it's really going to um, change my uh, the lay the layout of the form really nice. So if I'm on a mobile, if I'm on a small screen, it will just uh, resize it automatically. So for instance, here I'm into the pop up, and then if I just resize this form, you can see that it's changing all this nicely if I was on a small screen. This is something that actually years ago we had to do manually on SharePoint and it was a pain. And I keep mentioning SharePoint because yes, this is actually similar or the same I would just say as a SharePoint list. So let's just new, new, do a new app. New item. So I'm going to go quickly and fill in some data here. Okay, and then I'm just going to finish by having the location and save. So we are into a form and we saved it and now it becomes a list, a list item we call it. So every every item is independent from the next one. So I will have more and more and more, just like a little a mini database, let's say. But one thing that is really cool is that now I can switch to edit in grid view. And for people who have been in SharePoint for years, you know what a pain it was to use the grid view in previous version because we needed to have some codex and some, why was it, ActiveX and all that. Now it's just beautiful because it works really well. And I'm again saying SharePoint because this 
grid view works on the web, on browser, in a SharePoint environment, or in Teams environment. Right? So what we do in grid view is that we can very simply just say, type as if I was into an Excel spreadsheet. It's really simple to do all this. So um, the other thing I can do is that I'm going to add a new item, and instead of typing all my itinerary, maybe I have a colleague who sent me the list of the itinerary. So let's have a look here. I have something that they sent me. I'm just going to copy the values. Here we go. Copy this. Go back to my list and just click on the first cell and paste. Now it's going to go one by one and check that everything is uh, compatible. Because if I made a mistake in the name here, then it's going to tell me, like, oh, I can't do that. And that's it. This is a list in Microsoft Teams. Right, let's pause here and see what happens about this list. Where is it physically? Because we always say, oh, is it SharePoint, is it whatever. So here we have Open in SharePoint. So I'm going to click on it, and first I have to make sure I have my browser. And now is the SharePoint interface. As you can see, very much the same as my Microsoft. Microsoft Teams, I mean Microsoft Teams list. So everything we're saying, a Teams list or SharePoint list, is now being renamed as a Microsoft list. Why? Because we can now access it from anywhere. We can create a list for a lot of purposes, but they are still saved inside a SharePoint. That's very interesting to see, right? If I click on an item here, you can see that it's slightly, it's slightly different, the interface, the form, because one thing we could do is to configure the layout, like have some color in here and have a lot of, uh, of code just to make it really nice and sweet. We could even have it customized in Power Apps. Whereas in Teams, we are still into a simple environment, let's say. If I click on the item, what can I do here? I have edit item, but I don't really have the full shebang of uh, layout. But notice as you're here that uh, we have this comment, which is really nice because I could comment someone, comment, I could um, tag someone and say, have a look at this number. And the person will just receive a, a message and can therefore comment to comment and work on this one. All right, so this was a quick intro on list. Of course, I, I did a one from a template, but if you do a new one, a new list is very much similar. And then you still have all the options that we had before, grouping the list by something, by value. We have the nice collapse, collapse expand, etc. So people who are used to have SharePoint list and change views and all that in the past is no problem. You're going to find your way very easily with the new, uh, what they call Microsoft list, because it is really much the same. So here we have some really cool things that before, as I said, we needed to have a full um, coding experience, to be honest. So now, here we go, I'm gonna save this, and if I expand my views, I should have some items that are in the green. Actually, I do want to have workshop, I want to see the, the breakout as green. If I go, no, there's no breakout, I don't see it, very clever. We have means in green, great. So this is about the Microsoft list, just a, a quick one. I will publish this, as uh, I'm sure some of you may find it useful to decipher when the head is a Microsoft list.